British Airways is one of several high-profile companies that shut their offices for a few days due to the lack of access to hard currency. Japanese carmaker Nissan has joined in. According to its central director, Nissan has overdue payments to car parts suppliers and missed a target of 28,000 vehicles because of difficulty in getting foreign currency to pay for components. So Nissan froze all plans for expansions and cut down production levels in Egypt. There has been a confusion in our production, pricing and marketing plans because of the dollar situation and we are not taking any further measures until we discuss the impact of the decision. The car industry has two sectors, the manufacturers and importers. Unfortunately, it affected both. In manufacturing, you need the currency to import components for production, while traders need the hard currency to import their cars. It had a negative impact on both. The cap on dollar transactions implemented for nearly a year was cancelled last week due to threats from more businesses to close down. The central bank also pumped $1.9 billion to boost the market, measures welcomed by businessmen. The bank lift of the dollar cap was helpful to a big extent, but all car manufacturers are also sending funds to their agents here. They don't want to lose this market because the Egyptian market is one of the largest in the region. Foreign currency reserves had dropped by two-thirds since the 2011 uprising. This prompted the central bank to place a cap on dollar transactions to save hard currency for imports of basic goods and necessities. This procedure has hurt all industries, but now that the cap on dollars has been lifted, the government hopes that there would be an influx of foreign investments to revitalize the economy. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.